Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to learn the canister taping application for brachial plexus neuralgia. Now brachial plexus neuralgia or neuropraxia is a clinical condition that is characterized by decrease in the functions of the peripheral nerve without any degenerative changes and this most commonly occurs after any abnormal traction or compression injury to the cervical nerve roots and the exiting nerves. The most common complaint of the patient is the severe electric shock like sensation that runs down from the cervical spine into the arm, forearm and wrist region. The canister taping application that will be demonstrated in this video has been shown to decrease inflammation, pain and paresthesia in such patients. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of this canister taping application. Now for this technique the patient can be made to sit or stand and the therapist is going to identify the course of the pain radiation up to the distal most point. So let's say in this patient we are having the electric shock like sensation running down from the cervical spine going up to the superior aspect of the shoulder posteriorly and then down into the forearm up to the wrist joint. So for the tape measurement the therapist is going to measure from the base of the occiput or from the base of the hairline and then is going to measure it up to the most distal point of the pain and this is where the therapist is going to cut the tape. Now for this patient in which the pain is running down up to the wrist joint there are going to be the three components for taping. So first component will be from the cervical spine up to the shoulder joint. The second component is going to be from the shoulder joint up to the elbow and the third component is going to be from the elbow up to the wrist. Now ensure that every component that is going to be taped the overlying skin needs to be put on stretch before the tape application. So the first component is going to be put under stretch by asking the patient to side flex on the contralateral side within the comfortable limit and now therapist is going to create an anchor by tearing the paper backing and this is going to be applied over the most proximal point just base to the occiput. Now after applying it the anchor needs to be rubbed and then we are going to remove the paper backing and then with only minimal stretch the one hand of the therapist is going to follow the course of the patient's pain radiation and once we reach the shoulder joint we are going to stop here and this finishes our first component of taping. Now to stretch the overlying skin of the second component we are going to ask the patient to flex the shoulder and then horizontally adduct it so that the hand reaches for the opposite shoulder. Now once the skin here is stretched again we are going to continue with our removal of the paper backing and with very minimal stretch we are going to follow the course of the pain and paresthesia up to the elbow joint and we are going to stop here. Now for the third component the overlying skin needs to be stretched so we are going to ask the patient to flex the wrist this is going to stretch the forearm skin. The second important aspect is that we are also going to miss the olecranon process during the taping procedure as the overlying skin here is delicate and can easily break down. So we will continue with our tape remove the paper packing continue with minimal stretch and follow the course of the pain and then finally with no stretch we are going to apply the remaining tape over the wrist joint. So this is going to finish our taping for the brachial plexus neuralgia. Rub the tape properly to ensure proper adherence. Similar concept of taping can also be utilized for cervical brachialgia in which patients with severe cervical radiculopathy show pain peripheralization from the cervical spine into the arm and forearm region. I sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful in managing such patients. Do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback. Keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.